toilet. Toilet options. This is a big one because a lot of people go with a system that is uh, not typical as far as regular residentials. Um, so let's just start with a regular residential toilet. You have your stool here, whatever that's going to look like, something like this. You've got a water line that comes in, you do your business, and then that goes out to the city uh, treatment plant or a septic tank. So this is a regular standard flush water flush toilet. Um, you can have a composting toilet. A uh, composting toilet basically looks the same. You sit down on the unit. Uh, maybe there's some, some more here. Uh, oftentimes there's a urine diverter. If, if this is a factory model, it's, there's a, a urine diverter and a feces collector. Okay, so there's kind of two, two different options. Some are automatic, some are manual. So sometimes when you sit down on this seat, um, a door opens and then you can drop your number two down into this collection container and your number one goes into the urine collector. And this collector can go down into your gray water tank and this will have a trap door to, to grab that. Or there could be a plastic bag in there to, to get that out. Um, either way, typically with these, there's a fan in here and that fan is plumbed to the outside wall. So it's an exhaust fan. So, uh, when, when you sit down, a trap door opens, when you stand back up, the trap door closes. And then this fan operates to slowly move out any, any smells that, that are unsavory. So that's going to vent to the outside. This is, this is basically how this works. A lot of people do this. Some people just do the old bucket technique where they have a bucket uh, and a urine diverter is highly, highly um, stressed because it's the, the mixture of the two really is where the, the smell comes from. It's not uh, the feces by itself and it's not the urine by itself. It's when they get together, it, it makes that horrible odor. So, so if you're gonna have the old school bucket technique um, and do peat moss and things like that, you, you're gonna wanna try to divert that urine as much as possible and, uh, and keep that dry so then this doesn't smell as bad. And then a lot, oftentimes, you know, this has got a garbage bag in it. You do your stuff and you empty that every so often, once or twice a week. Um, composting toilet is the same way. A couple times a week, you're gonna want to uh, empty this out, kind of swap it, just maintain it basically. Composting toilet, you have to, to change out. There's, um, Incinerating toilet, which is basically the same thing as this. So you, you have your seat, you sit down on it, you have basically a coffee filter that you're gonna put in here. It's gonna be a coffee filter. It's not a coffee filter, but it's something similar, okay? It's made for incinerating toilets. You sit down, door opens, coffee filter in. You do your number two business right into here. And then when you stand up, this falls down into a trap door and underneath here, this gets burned up to ashes. Um, that process, there's a heating element that heats that all up and burns it, sets it on fire until it's done. This process takes a little while. And then there's a vent again that vents outside. So then that vents out there. And then there's gonna be a little trap door and ash tray, which you can get this ash out. And then you can just dump that out uh, into your garbage or wherever you wanna dump it up. So this is an incinerating toilet, which is a pretty slick deal too. Uh, there, are, any of these is about, you know, $1,500 or so, something like that, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, depending on the specific model. Uh, incinerating, composting, and then the other one is a dry flush. And if anybody's had kids in the last, I guess, 15 to 18 years, something like that, a dry flush toilet is basically a diaper genie. Um, it has, it has, a, how do you want to say this? It has a, they're kind of like a metallic or plastic, uh, liner that goes in here and it's the first one's got a bottom on it so when you come in here you do your stuff and then you when you're done you you rotate this or it or it rotates this ring and basically your stuff is here and then it cinches it it twists it around and then you have another collection so this turns out to be like a, a sausage um, and then you you sit down and do that again and then that rotates it spins that whole bag tight and spins it around and then when you're done there's just like this collection of these 
um, you know, uh, feces, bowel movements or whatever you want to call it, and then you have to you have to take this out. A lot of times this is going to have a vent. Most of this stuff is going to have a vent outside to keep this chamber um, from smelling up the inside, so it just vents outside. Uh, these are also, you know, a couple thousand bucks to get them. But this is probably, uh, toilets are probably the biggest sticking point in tiny houses and how, how to deal with this stuff. Um, because, you know, it's a daily occurrence for most people. Sometimes more than once a day, sometimes once a day, sometimes once every couple days. But, you know, I mean, this is, we are a human waste producing factory and that's how we get our energy by consuming things. And then it has to go, we take our energy out and it's gotta go somewhere. With, with any of these things, really, uh, especially composting toilets, maybe not so much incinerating toilets, um, and somewhat these two, the biggest problem that you're gonna run into, or the biggest factor, is actually uh, toilet paper. So if, if you have a composting toilet or something, something of the like, uh, and you're wiping and wiping and filling this up, it's not so much gonna be your waste that's gonna fill this up, it's gonna be all that toilet paper. Toilet paper takes up a lot of volume because it's soft and it's plush and it's you know comfortable to use and all that stuff. So as you as you go to the bathroom a couple of times, that toilet paper is really gonna fill up that container. Um, and that's where you're gonna have to, to change that out a little bit more often just because your container is gonna fill up with toilet paper instead of, um, the, of the waste, basically. So you have to really consider that. Um, and composting toilet is not necessarily composting. Some, some of them do compost in the bottom or uh, aid the composting uh, process. But a lot of them do not actually compost necessarily. This takes a little while uh, for it to turn into compost, so it's not like you can just take it out of here and directly put it in your garden. You have to let that compost down back into soil. And then that can take um, a few months or even a, a couple of years for that to turn into um, a, a safe to use compost uh, material. So it's not, it's not necessarily that this, once you do your business in here and you wait for a week, it turns into compost. This actually is still, um, you know, hazardous waste. Ultimately, it's got bacteria and stuff in there and you're gonna have to do something with that um, for the time being. Uh, some places you can throw it in the garbage and some places you can't, but uh, just like you would a diaper, you can throw that in the garbage. So a lot of times you can just uh, throw that out with the trash too, because it's just human waste. Um, but uh, watch out for the toilet paper, that's gonna fill up pretty quickly. Um, you know, any one of these options, composting, uh, incinerating, or your dry flush system is uh, are, good, are good options, any one of them. Really, if you wanna be in a tiny house, this water flush toilet is gonna be the hardest or the most, uh, the most tricky situation because you either have to collect that water, that black water, and uh, keep it pumped out fairly regularly, or connect up to a city water sewer line or a septic system uh, for you to flush that, that's why most people, and that's, that gets really expensive. It's not so much the stool or having the water go to it or even the tank, it's the maintenance of that or hooking it up to a septic system if there isn't one there. So uh, that's toilets in a nutshell. If you have any questions, I'll put some links below to some of these options too, so you can see those options. Um, and that's basically, that's all I got. If you have any questions about that, let me know and I will uh, dig further into it.